Hey, hey, people, you are locked into Mode London. I am El Formosa. This is Mental Health in Music. In front of me, I have got Grime Lord, the super talented, <laughs> sick producer, bad man producer, Louis B. Love. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How's nah. life? It's all right. It's all right. I'm um, just keeping myself busy. Yeah. I'm just working and enjoying the sun. Enjoying the sunshine. Mm -hmm. You enjoy it while it's here, right? Yeah. I'm curious, I'm going to start off with probably a generic question, but I, I w really want to know, what inspired you to create Grime? Uh, I just love the music. Like, um, I started listening to it when I was like 12. Nuts. And started making it when I was, I think, f start, started making really bad Grime music at like 14. And then, yeah, I just kept going. What did you make but it on at 14? I was using the demo of uh, Fruit Loops. <laughs> so you could export the tunes, but you couldn't save anything. So you had to just make it. And then that was that's it. it. You can't ever go back to it or nothing. <laughs> but then I got um, Logic, started working on that. And I've just stayed on Logic the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I know some people like switch it up when it comes to what's popular or whatnot, but. Yeah, I'm just comfortable with, with Logic. Like I, I don't know anything else really. So mm. like I could probably use Fruity now, but. I, all the beats would just be bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, yeah, why, why change? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I read or I watched, the first time you went studio was with Jammer and Grits. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that was at 17. Yeah, yeah, it was. What was that like as a 17-year-old to uh, go to a studio with someone like Jammer? Like your your first time in the yeah, studio? Yeah, no, well. it was mad. Yeah, I remember... I, I'm, I, I don't think I even did anything there. I don't <laughs> think I had beats, nothing. I was I, I, I met Grits because I was sending him beats and he was he was feeling them. And uh, he said, come studio. So I went there. Uh, I think I just sat at the back watching, but it was sick. But it's it's funny because there's a picture of us three. Yep. But it's funny that um, they all remember it so well. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Because, I don't know, it's weird for me to... to because they were people I looked up to when I was when I was um, younger. So no, it's just funny that that it's it's a vivid memory for everyone. Mm. Weirdly, you, you know look I mean? so young in that photo as well. Oh, I know, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Seventeen-year-old Louis <laughs> that with jammer. Too like, much, man. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> that's gonna do that circulation on the net, isn't it? Oh my god, yeah. So like you said. Obviously, you went to the studio with Jammer, and Jammer's was someone that you looked up to. Yeah. How have you managed to stay grounded in a scene with so many veterans, and then got to work with them? Uh, I think just persistence. Like I was, I was very persistent, and I was always good at like networking. So, I was always good at just just messaging people. People probably f thought I was annoying back in the day because <laughs> I just used to message people all the time. Like, oh, check this, check this. Like on Facebook, I used to just message everyone like all my all my rubbish beats and then some of them were feeling them and da 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 but um yeah I've just stayed persistent and um I think you have to um just put everything into it really um to to really it depends what you want you have to mm. just keep pushing forward I think for me because um if you don't then what's the point yeah do you know what I mean yeah yeah, I get so, that. So, and you, you like the only the only way you you like will finish a product, which for some people might might be like, oh, working with their favorite artist. The only way to get to that goal is to just work towards it. Mm. If you just sit around not pursuing it and and complaining, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. So yeah. That's a good way to look at things. The yeah, way you, you just got to put really in the good. work. Yeah. I think. You get a lot of love for your music. What's it like hearing that from people saying, oh, you know, this tune's sick. Uh, we were just talking about a tune that you made and I was like, yeah, this beat's like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Cool. What does that feel like? What no, is that it's, like? Sick. it's sick, man. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. Um, you, the best, the best way, the best feeling for me is going to a live event where they're playing my music mm -hmm. and seeing it. And I don't know, my friends will grab me and be like, yo, this is you. <laughs> And then random people will spud you and stuff. It's sick, man. Yeah. It's a good feeling. Yeah. It, um, you know, it solidifies because you don't see it when you're just at home. You, d you know, you're not there when someone's listening to your music. Mm. 
So you just put it out into the world and you go and get on with your day and mm. da da da. But when people actually tell you in person, it's it's like a sick. It's definitely a good feeling. Anyone that says it's like says they don't care, they're, they're lying, lying man. <laughs> yeah. It's a sick feeling. What's it like when you're like in studio and you're like, yeah, this this tune is sick. Can you ever like envision what the reaction to that tune is going to be? It was always a surprise. Uh, I don't know because. I can make it I, like I've made like I made a tune last night and I think it's sick but until it's like vocaled by someone yeah. then no one's going to hear it so I still have to finish it yep. technically do you know what I mean mm. so I need to get someone on it I think I sent it to Frisco yesterday um but yeah so I can I can see it and and I know what I'd want to hear on it or and I know what I want people to hear but mm. when it's just a beat it can get played on sets and stuff, mm. but I, I think that's different to when it's like a f finished product and you're like you're hearing it at a show and it's being performed and da da da. That's that that's when I really I'm, I'm feeling it. Do you know what I mean? So. What is it like at a manga show for you to hear <laughs> like something <laughs> from like outbursts from the outskirts? Because I feel like um, yeah. outbursts from the outskirts like solidified your place in the scene. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, I, what I do you think it was well. about that that project that made it so popular? Because uh, obviously it's like six years down the line. Mm, we're mm. still hearing that. We heard it in his rave the other day, and yeah. people are still going nuts. It's still a still a sick project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's um, it's 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 weird. I don't know what made it such a thing. Mm. I think it was just good. Like what, like um, we made a project before that called uh, White Jean Suit Confidence. Yeah, Manga spoke about this before. We it was sort of like we didn't have that relationship yet where we could like communicate well we could but when we weren't really communicating back and forth back and forth saying oh this is what we want this is i was just sending him beats he was vocal in it and it was just put out but with outburst we really took the time like um we're speaking to each other all the time sending him tunes there was like a there was like a vibe that i like followed in, in, in my head do you know what i mean of the kind of beats i wanted to send him and he wanted to vocal and I think that's what made it a solid project because it's it's straight grime for starters, and it's it's not um, it's not sugar sugar coated with anything, but it's it's a consistent album. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think maybe that's why. But I don't I don't know what made it like special, but it's it's sick. Yeah, I love it. Sick. I love it. It's one of my favorite projects that I've done. Yeah. So. Yeah. So where did that the like obviously you've got loads of features on there. Do the features come from you or is that manga's taking nah, ownership all, of it? That's all manga. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's all manga. Um I've I've given him like uh input on who I think would sound sick on it. Yeah. On certain tunes. Like even like recently I'll be like, Oh, you should send this to da 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 and he has done, but um I think with Outburst I didn't really have I don't really know many people for mm. to, you know, Especially, I was well. wasn't really s established as I am now, so I wouldn't be able to shout cer certain people on the yep. thing because I just didn't have access to them. But he did, so yeah, he um, yeah, he got all the features for Outburst. I think, yeah. Why does your musical relationship with Manga work so well? Uh, I think because we 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 just built it together, so. And and now we're we're close friends, so we don't see each other all the time. But when we see each other, we, you know, we, yeah, we and we chat all the time as well, we FaceTime all the time. But um, now we just, I think now we're we we just a, a good relationship. So in in terms of like, uh, you know, we we don't fuck around. We we just get the work done. We know what we want, and uh, we already have seen it work. And w and we just the music sounds good together. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He sounds good on my beats, and yeah, that's about it, really. I think that yeah, he's just we're we're just um, a good like duo. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And now there's a name of when it's like a Louis B Manga project. It's like a thing. Yeah. Now because of Outburst yeah. and da da da. So that's probably why. Based yeah. off of that, did you ever feel like you would be labelled as Manga's producer? And how do you think? Well, like, what do you think are the implications of that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard that. No. But no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that I'm Manga's producer. But uh, yeah, I've like 
I have told people before when so if I'm like meeting someone and they don't know who I am. <laughs> oh yeah, and I know Manga's who they are. I'm like, oh yeah, do you know <laughs> Manga's like projects? Yeah, I don't know that. I think I said that to um poet. I bumped into poet in Shoreditch. <laughs> I, I said hello to him and he was. I, I said, oh, I'm Louis B. And he was like. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I make all the music for Mango. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah I like your tunes. <laughs> da, 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 da. But yeah, no, nah, that's, yeah. So maybe I'm Mango's producer. <laughs> that's the only time you've dropped it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. What's the mental process behind making a tune and putting it out? Uh, the mental process? I yeah, don't know. So what, do you, um, what goes through your head when you're like, right, do you say to yourself, right, I'm going to sit down tonight, I'm going to make a tune, mm. and this is what I'm feeling, this is how I'm going to put it into the music. And then I, when it's done. I think what I get is I get a craving mm. to make music. So like some sometimes I don't want to go in there. I just wanna I wanna do something else. I wanna go gym or 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 play Xbox or something. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But because mainly I make music in the evenings just because it's um I, I find myself being more creative in, in, in the evening. Um but I think yeah, I do get I get a proper craving for it sometimes. So I'll just be like, oh, like if I'm if I'm working or something, I'll be like, I want to go home and make a tune, and I know what I want to make. So I go home, I'll make the tune, and then yeah, I'm just sort of I don't know. It's just it's just so natural. Mm. I don't know how to explain the the process of it. It's just um, yeah, but I I think the main thing is just having a craving for it. Because when I've got a craving for it, I'll make something good. If I don't, I can't, yeah. I can make something all right, but I'll listen to it and be like, ah, oh, this was not the tune that I like really care about. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. Like in terms of my creative mental attitude towards it. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a craving. Does that mean that you can like pinpoint your moods from the music that you've made? Uh. Or maybe like a time Yeah, in your yeah, life? yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do think so. Like, um, I re I remember how I was feeling when I made certain tunes for sure, but I don't I don't think that's important to me. But I th th I definitely know how yeah. I felt with certain tunes. Sometimes I have no idea when I made the tune or yeah. whatever. But I think they're the ones that I n n don't really care about. Okay. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Do you ever hear a tune and think, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i do i do there's there's some tunes i can't even listen to like <laughs> there's definitely some tunes i can't listen to yeah but uh yeah it's 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 just um i don't know like say for example like me and manga like um you were saying about that um the the tune that i've done the hook for yeah don't just um, sit there do something no, no, no. The the other one. Um, oh, don't hold your breath. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh my god, which, which one, one is it? <laughs> I can't remember which one it was. I can't remember the name of it. But it's 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 like a deep tune, and I, I remember writing the hook. Yep. And uh, vocaling it and sending it to Mango, and it, and he did a completely different um, verse to to what my hook meant. Yep. Which was crazy. Like I was just like, oh, I'd never even took it from that angle because I was feeling a completely different thing yeah and he was feeling a different thing but it worked mm. so so I know what my hook meant on that tune and he knows what his verses his, his know what his verses meant yeah but they're two they're different but they work together it's weird that's nuts yeah do you think that's partly to do with your relationship or just the way the tune panned out I think just the way the tune like happened like I, I think I was I was talking about something more personal and he was talking about something um he was he was i think his vocal was was more like encouraging other people mm -hmm. so i thought he was going <laughs> to do the tune about himself but he didn't he made it about everyone else yeah so yeah it was interesting man but that's what i mean in terms of like i remember how i felt making a tune yeah i know that's a vocal but but yeah that's that's um it's interesting man are we going to get a Louis B vocal project. No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, I'm too, I'm too, um, <laughs> yeah, nah. Um, people ask me that because I, I do little hooks on that, but that's, uh, that's all I want to do really. Yeah. Like, 
anything else that I do, no one's ever going to hear. <laughs> so th- there's more then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a couple of little bits of Rob's dying around. But, um, yeah, I don't really want to take it. Uh, I'm I'm quite introverted, so I don't... Um, I don't want everyone to hear everything that I've got to yeah. say. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah. I think... I don't, uh, without you think saying, that's a shame? No, nah, I, <laughs> I do think it's a shame, but that's funny because I was having this conversation with Observer earlier and we were talking about artists that, um, that are MCs that start to sing. Like, why, why don't you get a singer? Why do they feel they have to do it type of thing? Okay. So you're coming from like, yeah, I can do a little hook, but I'm not going to start singing bars and like yeah, yeah, doing yeah. a full track because I can get a singer to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of like, um, it, it's like I was saying to you before we started, I was saying, um, I sent Manga that um, don't just sit there, do something hook. Yeah. Uh, and I said, this. I said, the hook should be something like this. Yeah. And he he was just like no I think I I don't even know if he said but he just vocaled it over over it and yeah. I was like okay so <laughs> so that was that was um wasn't even in t- intentional to have it but yeah do you know what I mean but I think um what were we saying again about so we were talking about artists that are MCs and that yeah. decide to just start singing rather than get a singer to do it so oh okay yeah um I don't know maybe it is a similar thing to me but. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they decided <laughs> to do that. But there's gonna be no. Louis nah, v nah, 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 nah. <laughs> do you just want to clear that? Nah, up? yeah, nah. There's no Louis <laughs> V vocal project. All right. So if you see Louis about stop asking him, there's gonna be no project. Nah, there's no vocal project <laughs> from Louis V. But there is there is vocals from other people that I'm gonna put on on a, on an album. So I've got a whole album with lots of artists. Yeah. So that will be the Louis V vocal project. Sick. So very sick. Yeah. So obviously you're a creative. You mm-hmm. get your creative juices and whatnot. Yeah. Do you think being creative boosts your mental health? Uh. Yeah, if it's successful, I think. Okay. And when when I say successful, I don't I don't mean if you make loads of money. I mean if you if you make some like for me, if I'm feeling creative and I make something, and it's not what I wanted it to be. Mm-hmm. It would just annoy me. Yeah, and I'll be like, oh. I don't know if it's um that's a actual issue for for mental health, but what I'm saying is is it definitely helps it boost your endorphins. You know, if you make something for for me, if I make something that's that that I like, mm-hmm. and I might be having a bad day, it might give me a bit of an extra feeling and yeah, do you know what I mean? But um yeah yeah probably I think so. What do you think are some of your musical goals that you've achieved so far? Um, I don't know. Uh, did you have any goals when you started out or did you just think I'm just going to run with I, it? Yeah, I think I was just running with it and just, just you know, I'd never set like, you know, goals. I have got like a mental list of artists that I've always wanted to the work with. Best goals, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think there's there's, there's probably... Two more that I want to work with. And how many were on the list? I don't know. There's a lot, man. It's just all the, the all the all the people that I grew up listening to, really, yeah. and people that I look up, look up, like still look up to. But um, yeah, there's there's definitely a mental list. I've never written anything down and yeah. ticked it off. But yeah, I know I know who I've worked with and 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 what what that means to me. Yeah. But yeah, I think there's two more I need to. I need to do it and then I've completed it. <laughs> Clocks it, mate. That's quite good for only having two more people left, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. But does a feature count? Like, so say it's, uh, say it's not my tune, or or they're they're a feature. It's not their tune. Do you know what I mean? Does that count? Oh, that's a tricky one. Um, <laughs> what would you say? Because oh, if 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 not, then I'm cheating. <laughs> I've got more work to do. But, <laughs> He's yeah. got, got to come up with a new list now. Yeah. Um, no, I think that counts. Yeah, I should think so. Yeah, yeah. It has to now because you've said you've got two left. So yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what kinds of things have you achieved personally? Not related to music. Um, probably not much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. 
I don't know if I've got any like anything that I'm like, oh yeah. You need to do that. Yeah. No, not much really. No. Just music. Like Just I'm 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 still like there's things that I want to achieve. Like I wanna I wanna one thing that I want to achieve is be like persistent at the gym and get and get my like physical health in shape. But yep. um like I haven't I haven't completed it so I'm, like I haven't achieved it yeah like, I've definitely got personal things that I want to do yeah but I don't I can't think of anything that I'm like oh yeah that was sick and I've done that apart from music yeah really life is music is life yeah 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 what stops you being consistent at the gym um I don't know I don't know there's a mental block sometimes and yeah. I don't want to go yeah and then I don't go and I procrastinate on it. But I've, 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 I'll tell myself that I'm doing something. Like I'll, I'll, I'll have to fill the gap. So if I'm not going to go gym, I'll, I'm not going to sit around. Yeah. I'm going to go and make some tunes or something. Or or work on a music video or do something that's that's worth it. That's worth skipping the gym for. But yeah. then I just keep doing that. And I just don't go to the gym. And then you're like, I haven't gone to the gym, yeah. but I've done this. I've done that. Exactly. I've done that. So I tell that's myself like... I'm still doing good. Yeah. But which technically, I guess, is true. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not what I wanted to do, do you know what I mean? So you've not gone gym, but you completed your to-do list. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I know the feeling, trust me. Yeah. Is there any, like, events or days that you look back on and you think, rah, I survived that, that's sick? Uh, oh, yeah, there's definitely situations, but yeah. nothing that I really want to talk about fair enough like um in depth but or give give too many details yep. but yeah it's definitely I've, like i could tell you how i felt and i've been like yo that's crazy i've, I've overcome that yeah you know i mean yeah but um yeah yeah there's definitely been some times where i thought like um how am i gonna figure this out mm -hmm. and i've figured it out yeah but um yeah, yeah, no, I think I think there's there's a few things, but yeah. Do you think it's important to do that to just look back and be like, "Yeah, I got through that, so I can do this uh, now"? Or do you not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like go back back on myself. Yeah. And da da da. I just keep keep moving forward. But um, yeah, I think I think just just my mental health is 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 good at the moment because I just want to stay working stay busy not to distract myself but mm -hmm. to just j it gives you that that um boost like i said i want to start doing gym properly which i think is extremely like important for your for your like, brain mm -hmm. and like the way you think and the way you feel do you know what i mean so but um i don't i don't really um think about uh things that have happened to me in the past or whatever mm -hmm. i just kind of um, they might pop into my head at some point, but yeah. I don't dwell on it. Dwell on it, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a sick mindset to have. I I yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really cool because obviously times where things can come into your head and then you just go over them and over them and over them mm -hmm. it doesn't really get you anywhere. Yeah, well, it, it, that's the thing. It's like, what's the what's the point? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think um, I think if you. If you need to mend something, go back to it. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't need mending, why are you still going back yeah. back on it? Because there's no, there's no point. There's literally no point. You yeah. Just keep pushing forward. Yeah, hundred percent. Do positive stuff. You mentioned earlier you as an introvert, and I was going to say that I feel that you're an introvert. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A proud introvert. Yeah. <laughs> um, how does that like with you doing music? Do you think that affects like how you connect with people, or uh, do you yeah. not let it? I think I think it does a little bit. Yeah, maybe um, because uh, like I'm 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 always quite quiet in in if I'm in like a room with a lot of people, I'm a little bit quiet. It's it's not really because I'm shy. It's more that I'm just. Um, I don't know what the word is. I just feel a little bit uncomfortable when there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so if I, or if I want to speak to someone or if I'm, I think, oh, yeah, I want to I want to show them a tune or something. Like if I'm in a room with a bunch of artists and everyone's playing tunes, I might not, I might not even say nothing. I'll just sit there. 
when and then I'll go home and I'll be like, why didn't I show them the tune? Oh bless. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know if that I don't think it's me being shy. I think it's just uh I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I'm definitely just introverted. Yeah. But um just keep yourself to yourself. Yeah, th- but that also d- doesn't mean I'm not social. Yeah. I enjoy going out, I enjoy seeing my friends, da 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 da. I'm just not super comfortable with people I don't know very well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So but yeah, no, I'm very confident when I'm with when I'm with my people and yeah. Da da da. Probably one of the most confident people. But yeah, when I when I'm put myself in a situation where I don't know many people, I'm not the most out there person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That was actually my next question, because I feel like being an introvert and confidence are two different things. Mm. Um, so what's your level of confidence like? You said you're quite confident with people that you know. Yeah. Um, how does that affect you getting your music out there, your confidence or? Uh, I don't, I, no, I don't think so. I think I am still <coughs> quite confident if I walk into a room with a lot of people. Yeah. But what I mean is I'm just not, um, I just don't want to project the confidence. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think that you just look, you just, people are going to think you're a bit of a dickhead. You just walk into the room with yeah, a bop like yo. Do you know what I mean? Me. Yeah, yeah. If someone done if someone done that right now, I'd just think, who is this dickhead? <laughs> so but that yeah, that's what I'm that's what I mean, I think, really. It's like I don't wanna I don't wanna um force my f- or 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 seem arrogant or something, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe it's I've, i worry about what people think of me. Yeah. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah. But uh yeah. I what were we saying about confidence affecting me putting my music out yeah because you have i feel like you have to have a certain level of confidence to put your music out and to approach people about your music oh, so okay. you must have a decent level of confidence. yeah 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 i think so um i think i'm confident in in my uh and and also as a producer it doesn't really it's 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 not you putting your thoughts out and you're it sort of is but but you know you're not saying anything mm. And you're not you're not super personal with it, mm. so I, I guess that's that's probably a bit more, uh, bit easier for a producer to be able to do that, mm. as opposed to like an artist. Yeah, I think you have to you have to be confident, like in yourself around other people around everyone to be like a, an actual artist, yep. like a like a MC or a rapper or a singer, especially a singer. I think. Yeah, you have to be really confident to be a singer. I think, so. Maybe it's just that I don't think it might. I don't think it would affect me, but, but maybe that's why there's no Louis project, no, <laughs> Louis vocal project. So there you go. Because he doesn't want to get up stage. Yeah, and sing. Man, I don't want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, like even at the old like manga shows, like I'd always just get super drunk, jump on stage. Like I'm very confident in in you know if I'm in a setting where I feel comfortable. And it's my music. Everyone's loving it. So why not yeah. feel confident about that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Are there times where he's asked you to come on stage? You're like, bruv, not now. Yeah, yeah. Not, there, like... There's been a few <laughs> few times. Not not manga in, in um, particular. When someone's asked me to come up and 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 do ad-libs or something. And I'm just like... Oh. <laughs> Back and sing. Nah. Yeah, now it... <laughs> but... Um, yeah, need to have a few uh, few juices before, <laughs> if I get asked to do that. Do you think your confidence level is, uh, musically, is different to your personal confidence level? Or are they one and the same? Because uh, you can be confident in music and could be like, yeah, I've made this tune, but then personally you're mm. like, mm, can't really talk to that person because I'm not feeling it. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. They're probably similar. Yeah. I think I, think I, like, I can, uh, you know... I'm not um I'm not going to let me being introverted stop me from getting from going places and talking to people and da 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 I'll still do it it just probably takes me a couple a little bit to warm to the situation do you know what yeah. I mean which um, and I, I I always think that in my head like like I'm always if if I'm going somewhere and I'm like oh I don't want to go here like I don't want to do it I don't want to speak to the, to like all these people and then you go there and two minutes later, you're fine. Yeah. Everyone's cool. And you're chatting away to yep. someone like normal. And I always think that. So that's what I probably just tell myself. I'm just like, nah, you'll literally be cool. Yeah. In a minute. 
it's more the anticipation of the yeah. event than the actual event. Yeah, 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 definitely. Or even just when you turn up and then, or you're like standing on your own or something. I always think, looking around, I'm like, who am I, what am I doing? Like, I'm just standing here. Why am I not <laughs> talking to people? So I just have to go and just firm it and yeah. just go and chat to someone and say, oh, what's your name? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. What do you do? Like, kind of thing. And you just need to have that confidence to be able to do that. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think that comes with like all aspects of music, especially in like the kind of scene that we're in, like mm -hmm. meeting people and going up and saying, yo, yeah. I know your, your work or I'm this yeah. person, what's your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there, it's like, um, but also in grime, um, you you can, there's there's definitely like a, a, you can sense it in a room if someone's, if someone's like the top, top boy, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, you've got to have a little bit about you. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, I don't know, maybe to just chat to people or whatever, but yeah, yeah. you've got to have a little bit about you to be, um, you know, to to progress, I think. Yeah. In terms of networking and things like that. Mm -hmm. You've got to have the confidence to chat to people, but that can be built and it can be worked on. Yeah. It's the, you know, I'd never, feel, I'd never say that anyone is just hopeless. Yeah. You can, you can always work on it. You can always, mm -hmm. you know put yourself in situations if if you're if you're a not confident person put yourself in situations where you're forced to be confident and then if you if it, if you if you made a dickhead out of yourself in your head fuck it who cares yeah. you're never going to see them people again just just work man just do you know what i mean yeah i like and that so yeah that's just the way I, i've probably taught myself to 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 chat to people like that yeah do you know what i mean just don't business just go about it yeah 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 just, just do it i know that sounds vague thing to say like oh just just go and try it but yeah i think the only way you have to take some sort of action if you're too scared to chat to someone or something you've got yeah. to do it yeah because What's the if point? you yeah. think about it in your head you're, you're missing opportunities you're gonna you're gonna lose out so yeah and that's just the way the world is it's 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 probably a bit cruel but i think that you do have to have a bit of um I don't know what the word is, a bit of drive to just push through things, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you can't um, be like, doesn't mean you, you, you that, that feeling that way is wrong. It just means that um, you need to, you need to learn to overcome it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> what's your life motto or have you just told me uh, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a life motto man. I just think have fun and uh, just just yeah have fun do what you want to do if you like try not to care too much about what anyone thinks about you I don't know yeah just try and be happy man that's what yeah. it's all about think about what you want in life and pursue it mm -hmm. yeah and that's music for you yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Sick. Yeah, there's other little goals and stuff like that, but um, you know, you just gotta you get there when you get there, and you gotta you gotta work towards it. Yeah, I think. But yeah, yeah, main things music for me. Tell me something about your mindset that we may not have figured out during this interview. Oh my god, that's a deep <laughs> question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a crazy question. Is, Have you ever no. asked anyone that before? No, never. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I don't know. Um, something about my mindset that we haven't covered. Uh, I don't know. I just think I just think I'm probably. Um, oh, I I think try and have a sense of humor about everything. Yeah. So like, I've been in situations where people are so like pissed off about something. And I've just I just find the funny part of it. So if things keep going wrong during the day, I'm just like, this is jokes. Like, how has this happened? Like, all these things have gone wrong. Like, why has that happened? <laughs> that's mad. Yeah. I'd find it funny. So that's just the way you got to do it, and just have a laugh mm -hmm. a little bit. I think you can't you can't be you know let everything put you down. Yeah. Just yeah, that's probably what one thing I haven't said. Just yeah, have a sense of humor about things. Things, I like things that. are funny, man. Yeah. I'd, I'd people watch, I was people watching the whole time I was traveling here 
and I was just cracking up in my head at stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably gets me through life a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so yeah, things are funny, man. Life's funny. It is funny. Yeah. In both senses of the word. Yeah, I saw some road rage when I was walking up. I just w- laughed. It's funny. Like, <laughs> like this guy was so rage? angry about nothing. Why are you so angry? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Is that your mindset for everything then? Uh, well, most things. Probably, yeah, you probably don't want to laugh at everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely helps to, to have a sense of humour about things. Yeah. I think, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. We're going to play a quick game of this or that. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to give you two things. You've got to pick one. Yeah, First yeah. one that comes to your head. First one, beer or spirits? Beer. Ooh, beige or white? Beige. Producing at night or in the daytime? Night. Grime originals or Eskimo dance? Ooh. Uh. Grime originals now. (laughs) Far away or slew? Slew. Oh, that was quick. 100%. (laughs) Why though? Because I hate the mix on Far Away. Why? The mix just isn't right. It's like... (laughs) Uh, but I'm the only person that I was hears just about that. to say, is it something that I'm only you can hear? I'm the only person that, yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. And I love the tune. The tune's sick. Yeah. But, but yeah, this, it's not as it's not as tight as Slew. Yeah. Uh, Slew, for me, is just like a banger. I would have picked Slew. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that yeah. went off in a manga's event the other day. Yeah. As Far Away is, got, is sick Far at a Away show. Far Away off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the way manga does it. It gets yeah. everyone to go down. Yeah, and well, then gets everyone to go down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's sick. Yeah. What's next for Louis B? Um, musically, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know because I've I've been working on an album for a long time, and I don't know. I don't have any clue when it's going to come out. I I know that I'm still working on it. Um, I'm going to try and, but I'm going to try and get it out as soon as I can. But I'm only going to put it out when it's ready. Mm-hmm. But apart from that, and that's that's with all the MCs and artists. So that's the vocal project. But um. Apart from that, I I don't know because I I'll, I'll, I'll just I might have a weekend or something where I'm like I want to make an EP and put it out. So you'll probably I'll probably have some um, new music soon. I just put out a project, No Rain No Flowers. I had something with Maxwell come out um, with his label, uh, Greasy Records. Um, Obviously, not too recently you had your um, Immaculate Conception with Tommy. Biz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Immaculate Perception. Still yeah. bumping that. Yeah, with me and Tommy, my brother Tommy Biz. Yeah, we put that out, and um, he he's working on an album himself. And then he said after that, he's like, "We got to do another one." So I'm, yeah, I'm just working, man. There's loads of stuff in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, Always working. Yeah, hundred percent. I wanted to ask you on air as well, the track that I played earlier for instrumental track of the week, Original Glaze. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. think that's going to have any vocals on it or are you going to leave uh, as is? I don't know, I don't know. I Like I said, I made that the other day and I just thought I sent it to you. I haven't sent it out to anyone yet. Exclusive. If, if, yeah, if, yeah, exclusive. <laughs> but you should, you should let me know who you think I should get on it. Ah, the pressure, that's sick. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't thought of anyone. Yeah. I think I'll, when we come off air, you're going to have to tell me the two people that you've got left on your oh, list. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 100% I will. <laughs> Louis B, you have been such a sick interviewee. Thank you so love, much for coming love. on. Thank you. No, thank you for having me. It has been amazing. I, I have been El Formosa. This has been the El Show with Mental Health and Music. I will be back in a couple of weeks with another guest. Keep it locked. It's Mode London. Mode London.